la 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 Fruit of the Spirit It's so good to see all of you this morning. I've got a very special word to share with you. Today's topic is why did God give you a mouth? So if you have to answer that question today, what would you say? Why did God give you a mouth? Is it to eat your food? Is it to drink? Or what is it for? Is it to speak? Let's find out what some of our kids church friends thought. Papa, God heeft voor mij een mond gegeven om te praten en te eet en te pruren. Om te praten en om te pruren en om te eet en om te... God gave us a mouth so we can tell others about him and so that we can praise and worship him. To talk in tongues and to pray in tongues and also to sing the songs that he made us to listen that we can listen in church and we'll be a child of God every day. God gave me a mouth to sing, to worship and to pray in tongues. Because I could scream Jesus! Because speak good words. On the bed. Baba God gave me a mouth to speak and to talk and to pray and you got to a mouth to do it yeah or want the prize so why did papa god give you a mouth to pray i can pray baba coco coco papa papa coco can you okay that's amazing and why else did papa god give you a mouth Why did Papa God give you a mouth? What is this for? What is all the things you do with this mouth? Speak. You speak? Yeah. Um to prod in what see us with us mouth. As a belief in donkey. As a belief in donkey. Papa is speaking for you. Yeah, in what do? And he loves us. He loves us. Thank you so much friends, I so enjoyed all your videos with your answers. And friends at home, what do you think? Why do you think that Papa God give you a mouth? You know, the best place to find out is the Word of God. Let's read in Genesis 1 verse 1 to 3. In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. The earth was empty and had no form. Darkness covered the ocean, and God's Spirit was moving over the water. So let's imagine that. The earth was empty, with no fall. Darkness covered the ocean. That's not a nice situation, right? But let's see what God did. God said, let there be light, and there was light. Wow, so God took a situation where the world was, was without form 
and it was chaos and he spoke and he changed the situation and do you know that you are made in the image of God so maybe today there is darkness in a specific situation in your life so what can you do you can speak the word God's word is light and as soon as you speak the word it will destroy any darkness in your life. Do you know that your mouth is so important? Your words control everything in your life. Let's look at another scripture. Let's look at Proverbs 18 verse 21. It says, words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit you choose. So friends, what do you want? Do you want poison or do you want fruit? Do you want life or do you want death? The word says it's your choice. You need to choose. So what you can do is you can choose your words wisely. And as you choose your words wisely, you steer the course of your life. Today, you're either doing excellently at school, living in divine health and in abundance, or you are flunking in school, or you are ill, or maybe you have a lot of challenges. Do you know that it is because of the words that you've been speaking? So friends, I want to encourage you today. Use your words wisely. Deliberately speak in line with God's word, and you will have the life that God has planned for you. Friends, it's very simple. You have two choices. You can choose to have a beautiful, glorious life, or you can choose to have a terrible life. And I'm very sure today that you want a beautiful life. So the way that you can do that is just by choosing your words wisely, choosing to speak words of life, choosing to sp speak words of love, beautiful words. Go today and go and encourage someone in your life. Give them a hug, give them love, tell them how beautiful they are. It doesn't matter what you see with your physical eyes. Keep speaking God's word and you will, in, soon soon, you will start seeing what you spoke. So if anyone asks you again, why did God give you a mouth? What are you going to say? You are going to say it is to speak in line with God's word and it is to create a beautiful environment for you. Something in line with God's word. Have a beautiful day, friends. It was so good to see you. Goodbye. Hi there. Would you like to become a child of God today? Great. You can pray with me right now. So say these words with me. Father God, thank you for loving me. Father God, thank you for loving me. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ. Son of the living God. Son of the living God. I believe he died for me. I believe he died for me. And God raised him from the dead. And God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive. I believe he is alive. I confess with my mouth. I confess with my mouth. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Is Lord of my life from today. Is Lord of my life from today. I have eternal life. I have eternal life. I am born again. I am born again. I am a child of God now. I am a child of God now. I received the gift of the Holy Spirit. I received the gift of the Holy Spirit. To live in me. To live in me. To guide me every day. To guide me every day. Amen. Congratulations. You are now a child of God.